Hey everyone, this is Dr. Merhut from Elite Sports and Spine Chiropractic. Uh, we are in Newcastle, PA and Slipper Rock, PA. Uh, so I am starting this Elite Education Series for anybody in the public, any of our patients, any future patients, any past patients and current patients that have questions about any specific injuries that they may have, anything that they're dealing with. Uh, today's topic, we're gonna be talking about upper cross syndrome I'll talk a little bit about that on what that exactly is and uh, common things that are associated with that. But this is uh, gonna be your time to ask me questions. Feel free to comment in the comment box, uh, questions that you may have about the talk topic I'm talking about or questions that you may have about things that may be unrelated and I can focus on that kind of thing on uh, subsequent talks on this elite education series that we're gonna be putting on. Uh, hey Jessica, I see that you joined us tonight. Um, so upper cross syndrome. So what is upper cross syndrome? This is something that uh, a lot of people deal with today. Uh, it is common with headaches, upper back pain, neck pain, something I see every day in the office. Uh, this is the certain muscles that are weak, certain muscles that are inhibited. Uh, it has a lot of things that can be associated with it. Uh, upper cross syndrome can be associated with uh, shoulder pain. It can be, uh, you can compensate and have low back pain with it. Uh, so just to give you an idea of what the definition is of upper cross syndrome, uh, it's called upper cross syndrome for a reason because there are certain muscles that are weak and certain muscles that are, um, that are over exaggerated or, or too tight in certain areas. So those tight muscles in upper cross syndrome are the pecs, the pec major and the pec minor. Often what we see in the office is that shoulders that roll forward. This is commonly seen in people that have a desk job. They're commonly typing at the desk all day long. Uh, we see this generally just in society with the technology of today, with being on computers all day long, with being on your cell phones, looking down all the time, uh, texting, that kind of thing. Uh, so with that, holding that phone, having that uh, workspace in front of you, those shoulders tend to roll forward and those, those pecs get tight. Uh, another uh, thing that tends to get tight is the upper traps. The upper traps are uh, located at the base of the skull back here and go all the way down towards the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Uh, so if you complain about neck pain or upper back pain, oftentimes those upper traps are what is causing the problem and that's the tightness that you feel in those areas.